Hello everybody, welcome to Kai Likes Linux, another operating system slash desktop environment review. I get to use more clickbait, guys. I promise I won't. I'm lying. I'm definitely clickbait the shit out of this. But we have a brand new operating system called Cyber OS. Now I'm not 100% sure when this thing came about, but what I can assume is that its earliest appearance on GitHub is around December 14th, 2020. At least, that's some of the oldest stuff I've seen so far. Oh wait, actually, uh, get ignore. let's look at the license and see when that was committed. September 17th, 2020. So this operating system is only a couple months old, and it shows in a lot of places, obviously. It's based on Arch Linux. Um, 5.10.13 Arch, you know, 7 gigabytes ish of RAM. I don't really have a set size for how much RAM I give per operating system when I put it in a virtual machine. So, you know, that's what it is. Um, username Cyber, Cyber ISO is the host name. Now, I've not installed this. If we minimize this and go into uh, install, you'll notice it doesn't open yet. However, as far as I can tell, they're using the Calamaris installer, which is a very common choice. What isn't a common choice is whatever the hell this desktop environment is. Now, I cannot actually find a proper name of it so far. Um, I, I see, I, I think it's just called Cyber because it's Cyber Workspace, Cyber Doc, Cyber Launcher, Cyber Status Bar, which has been archived. Apparently, there's Mewi Mewi Kit, which is the Cyber Desktop Interface Desktop Interface Library based on QCC Q QQC2. Let me real quickly look up what QCC2 is. Uh, oh, it's just a QT. So it's a QT-based desktop environment, brand spanking new as far as I can tell, and it looks like this. And the most I'm really going to show you is a couple of things because this is a very minimalistic system. This is going to be a really short review because there's not a lot here yet to trademark pending. So when you get on, you see the wallpaper. Uh, you can change the wallpaper and it'll open up a wallpaper changing library. Except uh, it takes a while to load. I'm not... 100% sure uh, that this will work because not everything in here does. Holy shoot, it worked. I'm genuinely surprised because uh, th th these are really good wallpapers, by the way. Also, uh, there's no, in the display set, if you're wondering why it's at this size and not my normal 16 by 9, if we go into display, there's only these options that don't 100% work yet. Also, the brightness scale does not work. So... Everything to do with the display stuff does not currently work, which is fine. This is early development, and this is actually a lot more polished than some other desktop environments I've seen in the past, KDE. Also, if you're wondering about, oh, what about the, uh, the desk desktop environment, I made a mistake in that video where I uh, forgot to install KWIN, so about half the points of my bad stuff kind of fall short. But other than that, let's, let that, let's not worry about that. You can do wired connection, you have your appearance, which does work. I, it's default to light, I prefer dark. Uh, the accent color works, font I assume works. Uh, let's change it to something where we can notice the difference. There's a lot of Noto fonts. Uh, sure, Hebrew. I guess this doesn't work yet, but again, this is early development. This is actually pretty good for an early development uh, environment. Uh, you have sound options. I don't know if these work. I've not tested them. Brightness options. Again, this one doesn't work. Uh, you can open settings. You can power off. Uh, we're going to not do that. You can't change the time settings just yet in the settings, uh, as far as I can tell. Um, also, congratulations to F Flex Zong, Felix Yan, Omame, Proton... Pro bono PD, man? Pro bono! 
Okay, so for those who don't know, this man works on another operating system I actually plan on covering in the near future. It's not Linux-based. He does not work on a Linux-based operating system. It's a FreeBSD-based operating system known as Hello System, and I really want to make a video on it because it is beautiful. He also helped me when I was making Nurse BlueBSD, uh, which I've uh, stopped doing, and uh, Revan Martin. Uh, you see battery, which I think this is accurate, because if I real quickly go into my battery settings, yeah, it's a fully charged 100%. So I'm pretty sure that works. Uh, I have no way to test it. Because I'm not unplugging my computer, guys. It's too difficult right now. We can change our language, which I don't think works, works at the moment. That's fine. Let's just keep it to English United States. Wallpaper. This takes forever to load. This takes an embarrassing long time to load, so I think they should work on the speed of these loading in, but I mean, it's not the worst. This dock position stuff doesn't currently work at the... Okay, the label just appeared. This uh, stuff doesn't currently work at the moment, which is kind of upsetting because I want to make it like huge or large or medium. I think this is supposed to be medium and it's supposed to be bottom of default. And it looks very Mac OS like. I will admit that. It looks extremely close to Mac OS, which is beautiful. I actually really like everything about this desktop environment so far. I have not seen a problem with this desktop environment. Um, I like these. I think we should be able to customize them, the icons more. Uh, sometimes stuff like this happens, which is, uh, well, hard because it's mostly from the fact the. Scaling is not 100% fine. Ooh, the icons actually look beautiful. I haven't seen these icons yet. Also, I just like how smooth and clean it looks. Now, for applications, you actually don't get a lot. You get uh, QT Assistant, I think this is. Doesn't open. You get uh, these Avalhi things. Uh, none of these open. Oh. No, that's fine. Valley server not working, daemon not running, server not running. I don't know why they gave you three of these. Again, the uh, install application does not work, but it's Calamara's as far as I can tell uh, from the GitHub repos. It says uh, it's called uh, Calamara's, just Calamara's, I think it is. Uh, yeah, it's just called Calamara's on the GitHub. Uh, you have a calculator app, which does work. I opened it, and this is actually the first app I saw. So one plus one equals four. Um, Actually, never mind. I'm bad at math. <laughs> I'm joking. It's beautiful. Everything seems to work just fine. A couple bugs here and there. Nothing horrible. Nothing outright saying, oh, I can't recommend it because of X bug. I can't recommend it mostly because it's not complete. Uh, there's this. You also have a terminal app that 100% uh, works. <laughs> Uh, free-h, I think it is. Uh, and uh, what was the one for, wasn't it dev.h? There we go. Not on dev, that's, uh, wow, this is actually not horrible. This is pretty, this is actually pretty okay. I don't really know how to read this 100%. I just know what to kind of compare it to which is Bodhi Linux on, um, from EG's uh, distro delves. This is not horrible, and that's how I learned these uh, commands, by the way. I'm not, I'm, I, I mostly do the GUI stuff. So that's 337 out. I don't think that's accurate. I, I have a very strong feeling that's inaccurate, but we'll, uh, <laughs> let's not worry about that. Uh, you have the file manager, which is just our own cut. Everything is looking pretty custom. Uh, you, of course, have this. Uh, everything is just smooth. I kind of don't like this border, but it's stylistic design. But as a stylistic design, it, it's more of a less personal opinion that these borders just kind of are meh. Also, I kind of... Okay, something I really do like. Hold on. Is that that's partially transparent. That's beautiful. I love partial transparency uh, especially when it goes into like uh, let's open the terminal real quick just kind of blurs it that's in my opinion just beautiful amazing more of this kind of doc please some more people need to develop docs are more like this so let's <laughs> let's continue 
get an audio app, which is basically just a slightly uh, more basic rundown version of Audacity. Uh, and like a general recording app that's basically good enough if you're like, let's say, just recording notes to yourself. I wouldn't consider it good enough for a podcast unless you're going with like editing software specifically. But this is pretty okay for an audio recording app. It, it's minimalistic for sure and it has very few things. Uh, but, you know, we also have settings, which is, uh, you know, we, we saw this already. This uh, a couple Again, a couple settings don't work. You can watch the entire video instead of skipping it over, you coward. We have, we've seen the terminal a couple times on stream. QTDE, I don't know what this is. Uh, but, ooh. Oh, QT Designer. Yeah, I've not, I've not used QT, actually. The UI, mo like, the UI library I'm currently using is VUI. Mostly because it's like directly from the developers of that programming language, so you know. And again, these apps are well designed. I really love the look of these. And I like how everything's just kind of near perfect. We will be oh we will be installing Firefox in a bit, uh, but you know, we'll worry about that in a minute. Uh this uh, we have uh, I think GNOME Dis. Oh, yeah, so this is Gnome Disk, uh, so I'm going to assume GTK apps use GTK theming. GTK and Qt don't mix, and by the way, if you see me mix between Qt and Qt, shut up. But, you know, it's pretty okay. I wish, um, they. I think they should add a GTK theme alongside this desktop environment. That way everything just looks the same everywhere. But that's just personally what I would do. Uh, and it might be a little too difficult for their small team right now, so that's perfectly fine. GTK apps looking like GTK apps is not a problem in my book. And QTQ? Q, Q, D, Buzz, Viewer. Cool. So, we will be opening up the terminal and sudo pacman-s uh, Firefox. I th I've not used uh, Arch in a long time. Use SY to download. There we go. I, I uh, failed to synchronize all databases. SY. I don't know how to use Arch, so you know what? Uh, we will skip over that Firefox stuff. Uh, but if you're an Arch user and you want a new desktop environment that looks beautiful, works well, and if you're willing to fix a couple bugs, or at least work with them and give it time. I think this is a good recommendation for anyone right now. Uh, of course, there's a couple problems. Uh, in case you haven't noticed, the uh, icons here are a little, uh, a tiny, eensy bit tiny. Uh, but we'll not worry about that for now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's actually a really good desktop environment. I would recommend it. It has good wallpapers. It has a bunch of options. Language settings don't work, which kind of is upsetting for some people in the international community. Battery settings seems to work. Uh, you will need to occasionally resize things, and uh, some, and you might get stuck at this size of a screen, which is fine. I only know that this size screen is only available on VirtualBox, but you know what? Whatever. That's again, it's not a huge deal. It's actually a pretty decent operating system with a promising look. Now, I have to say, it's going to take time for me to get used to this, especially with it being an Arch-based desktop. But I would 100% recommend this to anyone who uses Arch, who's willing to do a little bit of messing around and fixing the stuff when needed. It's up to date. This ISO uh, I got here, this pre-built ISO, came out today. So they update it pretty regularly, I think. And time's relatively accurate if you change the if you know how to change the time zone. This is not the accurate time for me. Uh, it's not 9:30 p.m. It's uh, 2 p.m. 2:30 p.m. But otherwise, that's perfectly fine. It's 2:521, 100 battery. Um, I have actually not seen. So if we log out, I want to see one last thing. What display manager slash login manager it is? I don't know what. Ooh. GDM3, so that's an interesting choice. And we click this. Oh, interesting. Of course, that didn't work. <laughs> Let's try hitting enter. Sometimes I don't put a password with it. So I, I, I want to put, yeah, okay. Uh, or one last password, one last password. 
Uh, I think it's T-O-O-R. Yeah, no, it's not T-O-O-R. If you log out, you're kind of screwed. But other than that, I think this is a perfectly fine desktop environment for anyone to use. GDM3 is not bad. I wouldn't recommend it for QT desktop environments personally, but that's just personal opinion. Nothing against them for using it. It's perfectly fine. It works. It looks good. Everything in this operating system looks good, and it's a really good, great start. Give it if, if you want a more complete system, I would say give it a couple more months, up to a year. Have a wonderful day, everybody. My name's been Kai Likes Linux, and I've been rambling on for far too long. Have a wonderful day, everybody.